Question 1. The market demand function for item X is a function of its price, household income, and the price of item Y. Own price elasticity of demand for X is negative 0.8. Income elasticity of demand for X is 1.5. Cross price elasticity of demand for X with respect to the price of Y is 0.4. Given the above elasticity coefficient for the two items, which of the following statements is most accurate? A. X and Y are substitutes. B. Demand for X is elastic. C. Item X is an inferior good. The cross price elasticity is positive, indicating that as the price of Y increases, more of X is demanded, making X and Y substitutes. A is correct. Question 2. The monthly demand curve for playing tennis at a particular club is given by the following equation. P equals 9 minus 0.2 times Q. The club currently charges members $4 to play a match, but is considering changing to a new flat rate monthly membership fee for unlimited play. The most that the club will be able to charge for the flat rate monthly membership is closest to On rearrangement, the demand function is Q equals 45 minus 5 times P. The number of matches played per month at $4 Per match equals 45 minus 5 times 4. Equals 25. The y-intercept of the demand curve occurs when q equals 0. P equals 9. The x-intercept of the demand curve occurs when P equals 0, Q equals 45. The club will be able to charge the consumer surplus. The area under the demand curve above the current price per match to a total of 25 matches. Half times nine minus four times twenty five equals sixty two point five. This is illustrated in the diagram as triangle A. B is correct. Question 3. With its existing production facilities, a monopolist firm can produce up to 100 units. It faces the following demand and cost schedules. The optimal output level for this producer is closest to when output is 20, price is 2,000 
800. Total revenue is 56,000. Total cost is 10,600. Um, and profit is 45,400. When output is 40, price is 2,600. Total revenue is 104,000. Total cost is 32,600. Profit is 71,400. When output equals 60, Price is 2,400. Total revenue is 144,000. Total cost is 66,600. Profit is 77,400. When output is 80, Price is 2,200. Total revenue is 176,000. Total cost is 112,600. Profit is 63,400. When output is 100, Price is 2,000. Total revenue is 200,000. Total cost is 170,600. Profit is 29,400. Therefore, the optimal output level is 60 units because it produces the highest profit. The answer is B. Question 4. The following information applies to an economy. We have total population, working age population, labor force, underemployed, unemployed, discouraged workers, fictionally unemployed, and voluntarily unemployed. The unemployment rate in the economy is closest to unemployment rate equals unemployed divided by labor force times 100 and we substitute the numbers in and get Ninety five divided by seven hundred fifty times one hundred equals twelve point six percent. B is correct. Question five In an economy, consumption is seventy percent of pre-tax income and the average tax rate is 25% of total income. If planned government expenditures are expected to increase by $1.25 billion, the increase in total incomes and spending is closest to
the fiscal multiplier is one divided by one minus c times the difference of one and t C is marginal propensity to consume. T is the tax rate. Assuming pre-tax income of $100 Disposable income is one hundred times one minus point two five marginal propensity to consume equals Seventy divided by seventy five equals point nine three three. Therefore, the fiscal multiplier equals. Three point three three. With government expenditure of one point two five billion dollars, total incomes and spending will rise by one point two five times three point three three equals. Four point two billion dollars. The answer is C.